So today we're going to discuss lesson 3, uh, known about the, also known as the Python indentations. So in Python class, indentation refers to the spaces at the beginning of code line. So where in other programming languages, indentation in code is for readability only. So the indentation in Python is very important. Okay, so Python uses indentation to indicate a code block. Okay, so for example, guys, um, in this indentation, so for example, we put some program here. For example, if 5 is uh, greater than greater than 2, okay, okay, then print going to use a print uh, uh, example 5 is greater than 2 okay let's put some let this one so let's run this okay so if 5 is greater than 2 so for, for example we put some meditation in a python okay but it will not put an indentation, you can see. And once you run the program, or press, or click this run, or press, uh, or type a ship 10, okay? Or just by using click this, ship F10. You will see the error here. So, indentation error. So, indentation in Python is very important, okay? So, once we put the indentation here and run the program again, you will see the output will be, it will display the output, print, 5 is greater than 2. Okay? So, see the syntax error if we, if we will not put the uh, indentation in our program. Next one is Python variables. In Python variables are created when you assign a value to it. So, for example, Variable in Python, x is equals to 5, or y is equals to hello world. Okay. And the next one is comments. So comments has commenting capability for the purpose of encode documentation. And comments start with a hash, hashtag or hash character, and Python will render the rest of the line as a comment. In my, uh, my professor told us that it is number blue. It's the same. But now, uh, in Python, you, you will just use a hash tag or hash character. So, comments start with hash tag or hash character. will render the rest of the line as a comment. So, uh, for example, so for example, we put here, so we're going to delete this. For example, uh, we put hashtag here. Hashtag, so the example, this is a comment, okay, okay, this is a comment, example, um, print, hi, hi, uh, BSCS, BSCS, okay, let's run this, you can see this comment, in the first statement, it will not display in our screen, only the command print high BSS will display on your screen. This is how to put a comment in our in our um in our uh, in a Python programming. Okay. And comments can be used to explain Python code. Okay. Comments can be used to make the code more readable. And comments can be used to prevent execution when testing code. So a comment does not have to be text that explain the code. It can also be used to prevent uh, Python from executing code. For example, let's for example, uh, let's make an example here. So this one, example. Okay, going to type here, example print. Um, hi, is it? What will happen? It will display the output. Okay. So you can see the first statement did not display the the statement as the code. It just uh display the output high BSCS because we put this statement into a we put an hashtag character. So this statement 
declares a comment in our program. Okay. Next one. Variables. Python has no command for declaring a variable. Variable is created the moment you find assign a value to it. So, for example, x equals to 10 and y is equals to grace. Print x and print y. Okay. For example, let's put some variable here. Example is um, x is equals to 15. Then y is equals to, uh, example, race. Then we're going to print, print uh, x, then print y. Okay, let's run this program. So it display 15 and grace. This is how to declare a variable in a Python. Okay, it's very easy. So the next one is casting. So if you want to specify the data type, of a variable this can be done with casting so example x equals to string y is equals to integer and z is to float so in this three variables x is string y is integer and z is float it will display for the string it will display the string letters and for the integer it will display the letters example 3 and for the float it will display the example 3.0 so that's this example for casting okay and case sensitive so variables are case sensitive also so this will create two variables for example uh, a is equals to four and a is equals to sally a will not override okay so the next one is um variable name so a variable can have a short name like x and y or a more descriptive name age car name total volume so we have a rules for Python variables. So a variable name must start with a letter or the underscore character. A variable name cannot start with a number, okay, in a Python. So a variable name can only contain alphanumeric characters and underscores. So a variable names are case sensitive. So age, small age, and capital A, H, and caps lock H are deep, three different variables in a Python. It's not the same. So many values to multiple variables. For example, uh, Python allows you to assign values to multiple variables in one line. For example, X, Y, and Z, orange, banana, and cherry, for example, then print X and Y. So you can multiple assign multiple variables in one line. So for example, let's make an example here. Example X, uh, Y, Z, okay, like that one. Is equals to example orange okay orange apple apple, apple then banana example we put here banana banana here okay then print x print y Excuse me, brain. Say, okay, let's try. What will happen? Okay, so you can see we can, uh, the output will be orange, apple, and banana. So, as you can see, uh, in many values to multiply variables, Python allows you to assign values to multiple variables in one line. That's how it's uh, fantastic in the Python. Then, one value to multiple variables. Uh, you can also create x equals to y equals to z orange, then print x, y, and z. So it will display also the uh, orange, orange, orange. Now let's try. Let's try. So this one is a. We're going to uh, x is equal to. Going to let's try this one. Sample this one. They will also one variable same time okay let's try let's run this program so you can see we can declare the output is the orange 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 okay so we can declare one value to multiple variables okay we can assign the same value to multiple variables in one line also okay 
Then unpack collection. So if you have a collection of values in a list, tuples, etc., Python allows you to extract the values into variables. So this is a called unpacking. So unpack example for unpack a list. So print apple, banana, cherry. So x, y, and z. So fruits. So print x and print y or print z. So for example, let's try this. Okay. So let's try this one. So fruits. Okay. Let's put our I'm going to use this one. Apple, banana. Sample apple, then sample uh, cherry. Oh, I forgot to put this. Don't forget to put a double quote here. Then going to use uh, X, Y, and Z. Z, Z. It's supposed to fruits. Fruits, okay. Then print X. Print Y, print Y, and print say Z. Okay, let's run this program. So the output is banana, apple, and cherry. So they are all fruits. So they call it fruits. So this is what we call a unpack collections. Sample program of unpack collections. Then output, output variables. So the Python print function is often used to a variable variables. Output variables. So X is Python is awesome. So print X. You can also display a Python in a print X. So for example, X Python is awesome. Then print X. Then in the print function, you output multiple variables separated by a comma. So example, Python X is a Python. Y is is equals to is and z is equals to awesome then print x y and z and you can also use the positive or add operator addition operator to output multiple variables for example in the variable we have the x is equals to python y is equals to is and z is equals to awesome so print x plus y plus z is equal to the output will be python is awesome then for numbers so the addition or the positive character works as a mathematical operator. So for example, x equals to 5, y equals to 10, then print x and plus y. So the output will be 15. So for example, let's make an example here. Okay. Example, for example, we have the x okay, is uh, Python. Then y is equals to yes. Then z is to awesome. Then print x y z. So let's try. Let's run this. Oh, I forgot to put the second column. Let's try again. Python is awesome. You can declare also it, this one. Okay. And also you can uh, use a positive. So for example, uh, for example. Example, this one. Instead of comma, you're going to use the positive. Okay, let's try this. So Python is awesome. So if we're going to put some space here, what will be happen? What will be happen? Okay, let's try. Python is also the same. Alright. Let's try this. Okay. So Python is awesome. It depends upon the variable. Okay what is the output so this is will be the output python is awesome okay if we, don't, if we don't have easy this will be the output python is awesome so this is the output python is awesome 
And also, you can use also, guys, a, a in a mathematics, x equals to 5 or y equals to 10, example, in your program, example is x is equals to 2,000, then y is equals to uh, 15,000, then print x plus y. That will be the output. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, this one is not set. This one is y. y. Okay. What will be the output? 70,000. Okay. This you can also create this one. It means mathematical. You can use also the print. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next one is a Python numbers. So, in Python numbers, there are three numeric types in Python. We have the integer, float, and complex. A variable of numeric types are created when you assign a value to them. So, for example, x equals to 1 for integer, and y is equals to 2.8 for float, and z is equals to uh, 1j for the complex, composed of numbers and letters. Okay, you can convert from one type to another. For example, x equals to 1 for the integer and y equals to 2.8 for float and z is equals to i, 1j for the complex. So to convert from integer to float, you can you, you will just use the a is equals to float. Then convert from float to integer, b is equals to integer y. Then convert from integer to complex, c is equals to complex. Then print a, b, and c. Then also print the type of a b and c so this is how to convert from one type to another then we have also the string in python so string string in python are surrounded by either a single quotation mark or double quotation mark example hello is the same as hello double quotation also the single quotation you can display a string literally with the print function so for example print double quote hello or print single quote hello it is the same okay Assign a string to a variable. Uh, assigning a string to a variable is done with a variable name followed by an equal sign and a string. So, example A is equals to hello, double quote, then print A. Then we have also multiple multi line string. You can assign a multiple string to a variable by using three quotes. Um, going to use, you're going to put the three quotations. Okay. Uppercase. So how can we create an uppercase in our program? So the upper method that turns the string in an uppercase. So for example, a is equals to uh, a is equals to hello world. Then print a dot upper. So once you run this program, hello world, it will display capital hello world. Okay. Then the next one is, uh, if you want to put some uh, lowercase, you're going to use a lowercase method that turns the string in a lowercase. So for example, a is equals to hello world, then print a dot lower. So all of the words in hello world will be in a lowercase. Boolean. Okay. In a Boolean, uh, in a programming, you often need to know in an expression is true or false. You can evaluate any expression in Python and get one or two answers true or false. When you complete two values, the expression is evaluated and Python returns the Boolean answer. For example, print 10. So let's try. So for example, um, going to print mm -hmm. 10 is greater than 9. Then print 10 is equal to 9. Then print 10 is less than less than 9. So what will be the output? The output will be true, false, and false. Because 10 is greater than 9, it's true. 10 is equals to 9 is false. Then 10 is less than 9. The answer is false. You can use this one. Okay, Boolean, Boolean values. So print message based on whether the condition is true or false. So A is equals to 200, B is equals to 33. 
if B is uh, greater than or equal, greater than A, it will display the word B is greater than A. Else, print B is not greater than A. So, for example, then we have the least, okay? We have the least value. Uh, if uh, lists are used to store multiple items in a single variable, so these are one or four built-in data types in Python used to store collections of data. So the other three are tuple, sets, and dictionaries, all the different qualities and usage. So these are created using square brackets. So for example, in creating a list, in creating a list, uh, example, this list is equals to apple, banana, and cherry. So you're going to print this list. So that's an example for this. How about the Python collection array? So there are four collection data types in the Python programming language. We have the list, tuple, sets, and dictionaries. So when we say list, list is a collection which is ordered and changeable. Tuple, it is a collection which is ordered and unchangeable, allows duplicate members. And sets is a collection which is unordered and unchangeable and unindexed. No duplicate members and dictionary. It is a collection which is ordered and changeable and not duplicate members. Access time. So, for example, list items are indexed and you can access them by referring to the index number. So, for example, print the second item of the list. This list, apple, banana, and cherry, it will display, it will print this list. Okay. The tuples. So, what do you mean by tuples? Uh, tuples are used to store multiple items in the single variables. So, tuple is one of of a four built-in data types in Python used to store collections of data. So the other three are lists, sets, and dictionaries, all with different qualities and uses. So a tuple is a collection which is ordered and unchangeable. So tuples are written with round brackets. So for example, in creating a tuple, this tuples apple, banana, and cherry. So print these tuples. Sets. So what do you mean by sets? So sets are used to store multiple items in a single variable. Set is one of four built-in data types in Python used for store collections of data. And the other three are list, tuples, and dictionary, which all the different qualities and usage. A set is a collection which are ordered and unchangeable and indexed. Example, in creating a set, this sets, apple, banana, and cherry, then print these sets. Dictionary, so what do you mean by dictionaries? So dictionaries are used to store data values in key values pairs. So a dictionary is a collection which is ordered, changeable, and do not allow duplicates. As a Python 3.7, dictionaries are ordered in Python 3.6. And earlier, dictionaries are unordered. So dictionaries are written with curly brackets and have keys values. For example, create a, print, a dictionary. This dictionary is equals to Branford Model Mustangs year 1964, then print this dictionary. Then Python condition in its statements. So Python supports the useful logical condition from mathematics. So equals A is equals to B, not equals, less than, less than or equal to, greater than, and greater than or equal to. So this condition can be used in several ways, most commonly in if statement and loops. An if statement is written by using the if keyword. So example, if statement, if A is equal to 33 and b is equal to 200 if b is greater than a it will display the it will print b is greater than a so the example for the conditions so the next one is the else if the l if keyword in python ways of saying if the previous condition were not true then try this condition so example in the variable we have a is equal to 33 and b is equal to 33 if b is greater than a, print b is greater than a. Else, if a is equal to b, print a and b are equal. The else, in this example, a is equal to b, so that the first condition is not true. But the else if condition is true, so we print to screen that the a and b are equal. The next one is the else keyword. So else keyword catches anything which is not caught by the preceding condition. So for example, a is equal to 200 and b for the variable 33 if b is greater than a it will display the uh, this the statement b is greater than a else if a is equal to b 
it will display the word A and B are equal. Else, print is greater, A is greater than B. So, in the example, A is greater than B. So, the first condition is not true. Also, the else if condition is not true. So, we go to the else condition and print the, the screen that A is greater than B. So, you can also have an else without the else if. So, for example, A is equal to 200, B is equal to 33. If B is greater than A, it will display the statement B is greater than A. Else, if not, print B is not greater than A. Then we have the Python loops. And a Python has two primitive loops commands. We have the while loop and the for loop. The while loop, with the while loop, we can execute a set of statements as long as condition is true. So print i as long as it, i is less than 6. i is equals to 1. While i is less than 6, print i. i is, is add and or equal to 1. So the while loop requires relevant variables to be ready. In this example, we need to define an index variable i, which we set to 1. Example, let's try this one. Let's try this. So i is equals to 1. While i is less than 6. Okay, print i. So this is or equal to one. So let's try this to. What will be the output? The output is one, two, three, four, five. Until it's less than one, it will print i. Okay, that is example for loop. The next one is. The break statement. With the break statement, we can stop the loop even if the while condition is true. Exit the loop with when i is 3, i is equals to 1 while i is uh, less than 6, print i. So if i is equals to 3, it will break the statement. So the output will be uh, 1, 2, and 3. So let's try this example. Okay, let's try this. I is equals to one while I while I is less than less than six. Okay. Print print I if I is equals to three. I'm sorry. Equals to three, or i is equals to three, or i is equals to three. Break, break. I equals to equals to one. Let's try this. So the output will be 1, 2, and 3. Okay. Then the next one is we have the, this one is the break statement. The else statement. Okay. In the else statement, with the else statement, we can run a block of code once when the condition is no longer is true. So it will print a message once the condition is false. So i is equal to 1 while i is less than 6. Print i. So i uh, add uh, equal to 1, else print i is no longer than, less than 6. So this one is for Python for loops. So Python for loops, a for loop is used for iterating over a sequence. That is either a list, a tuple, a dictionary set, or a string. So this less like the for keyword in other programming languages and works more like an iterator method. As found in other object-oriented programming languages, with a for loop, we can execute the sets of statements. Once of each item is a list tuple or sets or etc. So for example, each each fruit is a fruit list. So fruits is equals to apple, okay, banana and cherry. So for x in in fruits, print x. So what will be the output of this? So the output will be apple and banana.
apple, banana, cherry. Okay? Then, the for loop does not require an indexing variable to set the for head. So, looping through a variable. So, we have here. Okay. Uh, for x in banana, print x. So, what will be the output of this code? So, for example, uh, the output will be b banana on the, um, the downside of this, this program. The break statement. So, with a break statement, we can stop the loop before it has a loop through all the items. For example, exit the loop when x is in banana. So, fruit is equals to apple, banana, cherry. For x in fruits, print x. So, if x is equals to banana, it will break. So, the output will, the output will be apple and banana. So, the next one is a function. is a block of code which only runs when it's called. You can pass the data known as parameters into a function. So, a function can return data as a result. So, in creating a function, in Python, a function is defined using the depth keyword. So, for example, depth my function, print hello from a function. Calling a function, depth my function, print hello from a function. Arguments, you can also put some arguments. Information can be passed into function as, as arguments. So arguments are specified after the function name inside the parentheses. So you can add as many arguments as you want. So just separate them with a comma. So the following example has a function with the one arguments F name. When the function is called, we pass along a first name which is used inside the function to print the full name. So for example, the F function F name print F name plus uh, your name, then my function, example, the names, my function, also another name, and my function, also another name. Okay, let's try this. This function. Example, um, that. My function. Example filing. Okay, going to print example, print app name. Example uh, Gonzales. Gonzales. Example my function. My function Another one My function Here we go Run this program so this will this is the output. Anna is Gonzalez, Anna Gonzalez, and Mary Gonzalez. This is how to use a function in Python. So if you want to put some space here, let's put some space here. Anna Gonzalez, is Gonzalez. This is how to call a function in a Python. Okay. Okay. Please study this uh, code, then find the output of this code because it includes in our midterm exam. Okay, what is the output of the following code? This is the first one program, it's the first program, the second program, and the third program. Okay, and you're going to uh, run this, then understand this how to run this program, how to execute this program. You can use also the online GDB. The file charm or the up up line editor from your laptop or from your uh, cell phone. You can use also any uh, audit editor. Okay. If you have some questions, please don't forget to message me.